beautiful question beautiful question and what are the maximum and minimum possible express values for this first of all i'm going to think about one each term right so what can this go to maximum and minimum so modulus of x plus y by mod x plus mod y nice interesting uh, we know that mod x plus mod y we are adding the two magnitudes modulus of x plus y we are adding the two numbers and then taking the magnitude and straight away we can sense that mod x plus mod y greater than or equal to modulus of x plus y nice because we are adding the two magnitudes then we are adding the two numbers we are adding two numbers if one number is positive other is negative the magnitude will shrink mod 5 plus mod 3 is mod of 5 plus 3 mod 5 plus mod of minus 3 will be greater than modulus of 5 minus 3 x and y have opposite signs then their magnitudes will kind of cancel each other partly at least and then modulus of x plus y will shrink whereas mod x plus mod y is sum of the two magnitudes when will it be equal it will be equal when they have the same sign so lovely idea mod 3 plus mod 5 is equal to modulus of 3 plus 5 mod minus 3 plus mod minus 5 equal to modulus of minus 3 minus 5 mod 3 plus mod of minus 5 is greater than modulus of 3 minus 5 we have opposite signs it crashes out it becomes smaller these two will be greater so, so mod of x plus y by mod x plus mod y will be 1 maximum equal to 1 what is the minimum to be 0 because modulus of x plus y can go to 0 when x is equal to minus 1 can go to 0 brilliant when modulus of x plus y can go to 0 modulus of 3 plus minus 3 is 0 so each of these expressions goes from 0 to 1 this goes from 0 to 1 this goes from 0 to 1 this goes from 0 to 1 nice very interesting so the overall total should go from 0 to 3 maximum is 3 minimum is 0 now when will the maximum happen suppose i put x is 2 y is 3 z is 4 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 3 3 plus 4 by 3 plus 4 2 plus 4 by 2 plus 4 brilliant 3 is possible can i get 0 0 0 is that even possible and that's when it becomes fun because if i put x equal to minus y this will go to 0. You put y equal to minus z. This will go to 0. y is minus x and minus z. That means x should be equal to z. Here again I cannot say z equal to x. z equal to minus x. That's not possible. x, y and z. x and y can have opposite sign. y and z can have opposite sign. Again x and z also cannot have opposite signs. Of the three numbers, all three can be positive, all three can be negative, in which case it will add up to three. Nice. Two can be positive, one can be negative. Two negative, one positive. If some two numbers, at least, that have the same sign, in which case it cannot go to zero. You cannot have a scenario where this goes to zero, this goes to zero, and this goes to zero. That's not possible. I can make two of them go to zero, in which case the third one will end up being one. So I can have a mechanism where these two go to zero, in which case this will be one these two go to zero in which case this will be one one of the three has to be one i cannot have all three numbers every pair having different sign i cannot have plus and minus plus and minus plus and minus not possible if x and y have opposite signs and y and z have opposite signs that means x and z should have the same sign i cannot have x and y having opposite signs y and z having opposite signs z and x have opposite signs. that's not possible so of these three terms at least one of them is equal to one so the minimum is one maximum is three when will it be three i put x equal to two y equal to three z equal to four this expression total would be three i put x equal to two y equal to minus two z equal to two this expression will be equal to one minimum is one maximum is 3 below 1 is not possible because one of these three terms has to be 1 above 3 is not possible because each of them maximum is 1 goes from 1 to 3 greater than 3 is not possible less than 1 is not possible absolutely delightful question absolutely brilliant question and so thinking about how the modulus idea works 
I'm going to start with this. Model is a beautiful idea. Polynomials, uh, algebraic expressions, functions, very interesting topics. The whole idea of what this entire class is to say, some questions are intimidating. So pick and choose your battles. One, two, even the intimidating questions, don't just straight away look at it and say, there's a cube here, there's too difficult, there's a modulus here, and then leave it at that. Have a poke. There could be something that just simplifies it to a beautiful, delightful, simpler, still challenging problem that can be done. So the, the lots of questions in, in competitive exams are of the type where uh, it looks intimidating, but after a couple of steps, it becomes challenging, but very doable. To back yourself to say, okay, I'll find that. I'll find that one thing that can unlock this into a smaller menacing question, not a giant menacing question. Uh, in, in the exam, you have to have the, the, the wit to say, okay, I'll poke around, I'll see. And you should have the, the, the pragmatism to say, okay, I've done one minute of this. I, maybe it's just a long question, in which case I'll leave it. Or I don't know how to unlock it. Again, in which case I'll leave it. You should have the confidence to poke around, look to simplify. And the common sense to say, if it doesn't get simplified, say, look, I'll leave this question. I'll find my 40 marks from elsewhere. Both are important. Fine.